Hello all, welcome to rotatrains.com. In this session, we'll discuss about application composer choice list components. There are two types of choice list. One is fixed list, another one is dynamic. So let's start with the choice list fixed one. So what is choice list fixed? So in this one, when you are defining a field and when you select a choice list as fixed one, you don't require any other new custom object. And what you require is just you have to create a lookup and you will be attaching that lookup to this particular choice list fixed one. Okay. So now let's see what are the steps involved to define to this design this particular choice list component fixed type. The first thing is assuming that you already have a custom component, you select click on fields and the fields click on custom and then select this particular new icon, new field icon. And here you select choice list fixed field type and click on OK. So once that is done, it will navigate to the next page wherein you have to define what is the display label and automatically this name will be displayed. And in the list of values, you have to click on this particular new icon, if at all, if you want to define a new lookup or else you can use the existing one. In our case, we'll try to use the new one. Just click on the new icon and mention the lookup type meaning, lookup type name. And these are the list of values which will be displayed in the page on this particular choice list fix. Look up code and meaning. You can also mention the display sequence so that it will be displayed based on the sequence what you mentioned. So in our case, we mentioned the lookup meaning as second and first respectively, lookup code as 0, 02 and 0, 01 respectively. Okay. So next one is you can mention what is the default value you want to have it, whether you want to have it as a first or a second, or you can mention its respective default values. And then once you run the page, you can see that this is how the value will get displayed at runtime. Like in our case, approval group, it is showing first and second one. So in the page, it shows lookup meaning and lookup code will get stored in the backend in the ref table. So you can observe the query also, the sample, the VIP report for the this particular one. So here you can observe that in this particular MKT ref entities where that attribute categories access custom details and customer details and for C, we can see the approval group, it is getting stored as 01 and 02 respectively. If at all, if you want to get the lookup meaning, you have to join with the lookup code. But where, the, where does where does the lookup, where does the, you know, like a lookup will get stored? It will get stored in the FND lookup values table and wherein you have to mention the lookup type, what we mentioned while defining the choice list, okay? So this is how we can define a choice list of fixed, fixed type. If at all, if you want to add up the, extra values, what you can do is you can just navigate to this lookup value and you can add up the values. Now let us see the next one, the dynamic one. So the dynamic one is, so where you require a new custom object to be defined and that custom object you can link, link it to the existing custom object, okay? So now let us see that one. So first we are creating the custom object called approver user where we have a field called approver email, okay? So this is just a custom object and we are generating the sequence for the record label and here, it is having a field called approver email okay and then this particular custom object it is having two fields one is approver username and approver email so approver username what are we doing is the record name whatever we have it we are constraint as approver approver name and we defined a custom field called approver email so in the standard one by default you all you already have a record name and that we are renaming it to a column called approver name okay and then the, in the custom particular field, we are defining a new field called approver email, which is of just text type. So whenever it is linked, whenever your custom object is linked to the main object, so it whatever the record name will be there, that will be shown in the other object. So we'll see that. So now here we define this particular custom object where we have a approver username and an approver email. Now, so the next thing is we'll navigate to the main page and create a new field. And here we choose a new field type called choice list dynamic and this choice list dynamic here we mentioned the name of this particular field as approver email details and respectively like that and then in the when you click on next it will ask you which is the, which is your list data source you mentioned the one which we defined in the first step the custom object approver user which is having the approver username as well as email select that one and once that is done you simply click on submit and add up the particular component in the page also respectively and once that is done you can observe here in the page, when you're trying to create a new page, so in the approver email details, it shows the drop down and wherein it shows the list of values here. And you can see that it is showing the name here. It is showing the name, not the email. But you click on a search, it shows the pop up, and there it shows the username as well as email like that. Okay. And how it is linked. So you can observe that information here. So it is will have a linkage between the ref entity primary key IDs. So you can see that FCL, right? Not FCL, sorry, DCL. So approver email, approver email, it has linked via a column called DCL and a foreign key here, DCL foreign key, right? 
So this is a, in this particular one, approver email, the foreign key of approver email details will be stored in the customer details. That's how they are linked at runtime. Okay, so you can observe this information also. So here, FK approval ID, 566. 566 link, linked to Shankar. And here, 565, it is linked to Sita. This is how they are linked at runtime. Okay, so in the next session, we'll see the real time. How do we, in the, like, a, we'll see a live demo session on how do we create the choice list as well as the choice list fixed as well as choice list dynamic for now. Thank you.